Hey there, welcome to the video where uh, I want to show you how to use the uh, photo captions and bullets feature in the new Scribeware report. Um, the reason we came up with this is it, one of the things that I've always found challenging to report on is when you find lots of problems with a single system. Um, and the reason I've found it a problem is, you know, let's say you're doing the electrical system and you know you get 10 or 20 different repairs come up. Um, you can write them as all individual repair items, um, but it makes the report just kind of long. And um, it, it also, I think, misses the point a little bit. I mean, to me, when I find a house or I'm doing an inspection and I end up with, you know, 10 or 20 observations on the electrical system, I'm sort of worried about the entire electrical system. At that point, I'm pretty confident there's other things that an electrician would find beyond what I'm able to find in the course of, you know, doing the whole inspection. Uh, so, you know, what I want to say is there's a lot of things wrong with the wiring system. Uh, you need an electrician to check it out. Um, and you can do that, but then there's not a lot of specific detail there, right? It's just kind of a general comment. Um, so what we've come up with is a way that you can make that general comment and then use uh, photos and captions to kind of prove your point. Uh, and then you just hit this one little button and it's going to put the captions into the observation for you. So it's a really cool way to provide a lot of detail and specificity, um, but, but also um, uh, be able to report pretty quickly. So let me show you how it works here. Uh, for this video, I just took a bunch of, this was a house I did, and I don't know, there's probably 10 pictures or something of electrical things that we found. Uh, so we'll put those in and I'll just show you how it works. So we're in the branch wiring section. I'm gonna make an observation here and I'm just gonna type in numerous uh, and that's gonna get the observation I want that overall, overall numerous red flags were noted in the branch and finish wiring system indicating unreliable and incomplete wiring practices. I'm gonna recommend additional inspection by an electrician. Uh, and then the last sentence is examples of red flags and defects found during inspection uh, are in this chapter and also include so now we're going to start dumping pictures in, right? So we've got our picture folder here. Obviously, if this were kind of your real report, your pictures might be scattered all over the place. But um, here I just kind of condensed it, uh, all the pictures into one folder just to make it easy. But you can see how quick it is to just dump pictures in here. All right. Um, I skipped one picture because I can show you where uh, that goes in just a minute, but let's finish this captions thing. So we got missing cover plates. So using this one, all I, all I typed in was miss and it found missing electrical cover plates were noted all around the house. Um, sometimes you have to click right on the, the bolded part for it to stick there. Uh, this was a uh, knob and tube. I wanted to uh, let people know that active knob and tube was wiring was still still being used in the basement there. Um, open junction boxes. I don't want the splices. I want the junction boxes noted. We could put a quick little circle there. Uh, we could say C basement ceiling. open junction box. We probably don't need to repeat that, um, but we could just put a circle on it. Hit save. Uh, here the, um, it wasn't sleeved properly, so you just start to type in sleeved. Yeah, right here is the one I want. Non-metallic sheath cable has not been properly sleeved and secured into the junction boxes. basement ceiling. We'll save that one. Uh, this is another sleeved. Let's see below the stairs. Uh, this was exposed wiring at the disposer. C 
see wiring to disposer. We could circle that just to be sure they know what we're talking about there. Uh, this one, you know, they, they need extension rings. So I can start. Some receptacles and missing cover plates may need extension rings. Uh, we got loose receptacles were noted, so I can start typing loose. Oops. See south wall of master bedroom. So I'm adding some really specific details too of where I'm finding these things. Um, Lots of rodents up in the attic, and the, so the wiring in the attic has been damaged by rodents. See damaged insulation on active knob two. Put a little circle on that. some abandoned wiring in the garage so I just started typing abandon um, a lot of stuff wrong with that garage wiring and recommending they install a new feed okay so geez right there nine two we just put in 11 really specific observations we wrote a general report. I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to hit this little button. So boom. Now all that stuff's in the observation. So it will read overall numerous red flags are noted in the branch and finish wiring system. Recommend additional inspection. Examples of red flags and defects found during inspection are in this chapter and also include. Uh, now you get this nice bulleted list of all these things we found. So I just want to show up, you know, we, we could do a few more things in this electrical chapter to finish up with the electrical section. There are a lot of false grounds, so we could start typing in false. And there's my false grounds note. And then we had this, um, uh, there were no carbon monoxide detectors, so we could start writing carbon. So we'll put that in. I clicked on the link, but then you can see we've got hot links to more information about carbon monoxide. Uh, the electric panel, this was actually a, uh, a sub panel, but it was really corroded. Uh, so we're going to drop this in and we're going to just start typing corroded. Uh, these are the breakers. We're going to go down. The electric sub panel is corroded. So we're going to select that one. Um, so you can see in that original observation, I, I noted that you know defects were both in this chapter uh, and then specifically bulleted in this observation. So geez, you know, right there we just put in uh, uh, you know, maybe 15 data points of why we want an electrician to further evaluate. We've got a handful of individual repair items like open grounds, carbon monoxide detectors, corrosion at the sub panel. We've got this nice little bulleted list of, of just a lot of the things we found of why we think an electrician needs to further evaluate the entire wiring system. So I hope that makes sense. I, I'm really excited about it. To me, it's, it's a fun way to report that um, is not as fast as just checking a box and moving on, but it is way more specific and just allows me to communicate really clearly. I feel like I'm delivering a report with a lot of detail, um, but it's not a pain to deliver. It's pretty easy to produce. So thanks for watching. Cheers.